Today we are going to build a simple roulette probability tracker, but this tutorial will only make sense if you have already watched the first part of our video called Hidden Patterns Found in Roulette Results. We are going to start using the six pocket line bets. This will allow us to adapt the tracker to cover the larger bets as you will see in a few minutes. You will need to open up Excel. Let's remind ourselves of the line bet truth table. We will leave column A free for an advanced version of the tracker in a later video. We will be relying on a copy of this worksheet for future versions, so please make sure you put everything in the exact cells that we say. Right, let's go. In B1 we will write aim, in C1 we will write count. Under aim, we are going to type all the possible values we could be aiming for. In this case, it will be between 2 and 12. We can simply type in the first few values, then grab the drag handle and pull it down to populate the rest for us. Under count, we are just going to put some random values in for a minute as we are going to come back and put a formula in these cells later. We are going to select the cells we have entered information into, including the titles, and go up to the insert menu. Click on recommended charts, then choose the clustered column chart. Let's move the chart up a bit and shrink it a little. Let's click on one of the bars to select it, then right click on it and change the color to purple. We click into B15 and type roulette, then in C15 we type combined and move down to C16 to type start. Click on B16 to select it, then right click and change the fill color to light green. Then use the grab handle and drag all the way down to row 70. This green area is where you'll be entering the roulette results while playing a live game. Go back up and click on A16, then go up to the view menu and under the freeze panes drop down, choose freeze panes. As you can see, we can scroll up and down leaving our results visible at the top. Now for some formulas. Click on C17 and type the following. As C17 needs to display a combined result, we must make sure we have two values to add together so our chart doesn't get any wrong data. The AND function checks to see if there are values above zero in cells B16 and B17. If there are values present, it will add B16 and B17 together and display the result. If not, then it will display zero. So, once you have typed this in and pressed enter, you should get a zero. We can test the formula by typing some values into the green area. Let's try a two and a four, as if we had entered our first two spin results. You should see a six in the combined column. If that's working okay, then we select the cell with the formula in and use the drag handle to pull it down alongside our green area. Right, back to the top, just one more thing to do. Link the chart to the data we entered. Go to C2 and enter this formula. The COUNTIF function is going to look at the value in B2, then look down at the results under the combined column and count all the twos it finds. Then all we need to do is select C2 and drag the grab handle down to C12 and our chart is now linked to our data. Let's type in a few fake results and see if it works. It works great. For those of you wanting to play different size bets, it's easy to change what the chart displays, which is why we started with the line bets. Let's remind ourselves of some other bet sizes. If you wanted to play four groups of nine, your aim would be from two to eight, so click on the chart to select it and you will see the linked data is highlighted. Just grab the handle, move it up, and the chart will alter itself accordingly. The same goes for the dozens, which you can also use for the columns. And of course, move up a bit further, and you could play the high-low or any of the even money bets. You just need to make sure you enter the correct values into the green area for the respective type of bet you are playing. To finish, let's click on the chart again and drag the data handle back down. Then, let's save our work. As you can see, we have only built a very simple tracker. If the video gets enough likes and subscriptions, we will continue on from here, building a more advanced version in another video. Remember, there is no guaranteed way or system to beat roulette, but observing how the data flows in a live game should give you a greater understanding of what is likely to occur, so you can make smarter betting decisions. Thanks for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this video.